Hi and welcome to Candy Floss Crochet and today I'm going to show you how to do this rather different looking corner on your granny square. So I've joined it on to this granny square here um, and if you check in the description box below you'll see a tutorial for how to do this pattern um, and I've just done normal two rows of a granny square in a different colour around the edge when I've got to the corners, I've done something a little bit different with these. As you can see, they cross over. So I've used a Starcraft Special Decay in grey um, for this edging here and a, if I can find it, four millimetre hook. So if you want to grab your hook, grab your granny square that you're going to trial this out on or if you're going to go straight in for the one that you're going to edge it with and join me back and I will show you how to create this crossover effect. Hi and welcome back. So I hope you're all ready to get started. I've got my four millimeter hook and I've got to the, my last stitch on the side before I get to my corner. So we're going to do something slightly different in the very last one of each side and the very first one of each side. So if you want to get to that point, um, now with any granny square, as you know, if you've ever made any, you do three trebles in each of the sides and in the corners you do three trebles a chain two and three trebles okay so that's how a standard granny square would work what we're going to do in this um, tutorial is show you how to work around a post now just if it, to be clear if you have never done a post before your stitches are basically at the top here and you would normally go underneath a stitch like that with a granny square you go in in the space in between um, and the stitch, underneath the stitch, you have what is called a post. So each one of these is a post. So that's a bit underneath the stitch. So when we're going to work a front post, we're going to go around that post, not in the stitch at the top. Okay. Um, we are going to work diagonally across. As you can see with this one, it goes from this side all the way across to the other side of your work. Okay. So we're going to go diagonally across and we're going to attach it around the post. Okay, so it's not through it, not through the stitch, but around the back of it. So if I turn my, my work over, you can see that my hook is going completely behind the whole post. Okay, so to work this one, you always work it um, two rows below where you are. So as you can see, I'm coming along here. I've got two rows of grey. I'm on my row here. So this is the row below. So that's this one and then below that is the next row so my luckily mine are in different colors so it makes it easier for you to see so i'm working along the second row of gray so th this row of gray is row one and this would might be my row below which would be row two so two rows below where you're actually working i hope that's clear okay let's get started with it so with your normal granny square side you would do a treble and you'd have three trebles wouldn't you so we're going to do a normal treble in the in the first bit and then we're going to do a quintuple treble i think it's called that's uk terms apologies if you're in america um i don't know what it's called in america but it's a lot <laughs> so you're going to yarn over five times and you are going to anchor it down you're going to do a front post around as i said two rows below the opposite corner the opposite side okay so that was corner two rows below and you're going to find that middle treble and you're going to work around that one so you yarn over one two three four five and i'm going to go all the way over here i'm going to put my hook behind this stitch completely and back out yarn over and take that stitch off okay so pull through then you've got one two three four five six seven loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and take off two and you're going to do that six times okay so yarn over take off two six times so one two three four five and the last one six if i can get it through that's him there okay gonna pull that one down so just lay it flat a second just pull him down to the bottom of that post then i'm going to finish off my normal side so we've already had one treble in there we've got the quadruple treble and i'm going to put my last treble in here because you still need your three okay because otherwise that won't look right 
get to your corner you're going to do three trebles as you've done previously with every other corner and if you're going to repeat this diagonal one the middle one of this corner two rows above will be the one that you use chain two and then all the way back in so that corner space three more trebles that's my second one third one and we're back to our first side of this side of your work okay so now we're going to do exactly what we just did we're going to do one treble one quadruple treble i can't even say that and then another treble in there and we're going to anchor it this time to the opposite side to this middle one over here okay so you're going to go across this one and you're going to pick up this stitch here so i'm just going to turn my work slightly because it's easier and i've got quite a heavy blanket here so Let's turn it around so I can get to it. And hopefully you can still see. One second, let's move all this out of the way. Okay, so we're going to go into our side and we're going to work our first treble as normal. Okay, and then we're going to yarn over five times again. So one, two, three, four and five. You're going to find that post that's all the way over here on the opposite side of the side you've just come from and you're going to take your hook behind that post you're going to pick it up yarn over and pull through that post and then we're going to yarn over pull through two six times again so one two three four five and six that's just six one and then back into that space, very important, you go back in there and you finish off what would have been your third treble. Okay, straight into the next one. So I'm just going to put one treble in here just to anchor it down better. And then we can have a look. So sorry, move the weight of the blanket out of the way. And there you are. You can see now that that's anchored that one down and you have a crossover in the corner on on your blanket and I did it on the row below that and the row after this one and if you were working around again your next one you would do if you're going to do another cross would be in this one and this one so by the time you work all the way around your blanket get back here you'll be up here on the next row so this one will be the next one that will get worked on and so on all the way up so I hope you um, understood I hope it made sense um, and if you wanted to see the pattern for the whole blanket at the bottom here then um, I will put a link in the description box below for you to follow that one and if you want to then now I'm going to join on some of the smaller ones as you can see here um, and I'm going to do a braided join so watch out for the video for that one and I will also link that one below in in the description box so thank you for watching